Hi, this is Dr. John Grossman. I wanted to share with you today what I call the rule of 19 and 9 for blood pressures. And it's a mnemonic device that I made up. It helps me with this table here. This is the blood pressure table that you've seen in pharmacies at the blood pressure machine in your textbooks. And it's a standardized table for this country. Um, it's the product of the seventh report of the Joint National Committee on hypertension and sometimes I'm in situations where I don't have access to this table and I'd like to know maybe the significance of somebody's blood pressure and it's very helpful for me to be able to sit down with a piece of paper and pencil and come up with this table quickly um, so that I can uh, ascertain you know what's going on with this patient's blood pressure. So let me just show you how I do it with an example. Before we do it, I want to make a few observations just about the layout of this table because it helps. First notice that the table has four levels of blood pressure, normal, prehypertension, stage one, and stage two. And in the columns, we have systolic and diastolic. And in yellow, I've highlighted the, the fact that there are four ranges that you have to come up with for this table and the ranges are only uh, applicable to prehypertension in stage one. Um, the rest of the numbers have to the left the less than sign except for the bottom two numbers. In stage two the numbers are going to be greater than or equal to for systolic and diastolic. So let's look at the table stripped of the numbers and um, just sort of emphasize what I was just saying. Have a less than sign, less than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to sign, less than sign, less than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to sign. And then in prehypertension and in stage one, we're going to have some ranges that we have to account for. So let's take it from the ground up. You got a piece of paper, you got a pencil, you made your grid. Now the first thing you want to do with the rule of 19 is, and 9 is write down everything you know. You know that there's systolic at the top and there's diastolic. And then you put in your four levels of blood pressure, the normal, the prehypertension, stage one and stage two. Then we know the number 120 and we know 80. Those are magic numbers that everybody knows. Now we start with the rule of 19 and 9. 19 is going to go with systolic and 9 is going to go with diastolic and I'll illustrate what I mean by just taking you through this sample here. So the first thing we know is that in normal blood pressure the number is less than 120 systolic, less than 80 diastolic. Now what we do is we bring, since it's less than 120 over 80, then the range of prehypertension starts at 120 and goes to add 19 to 120 and you've got 139. So it goes from 120 to 139 systolic for prehypertension. Diastolic, it's less than 180, so the range of prehypertension diastolic is 80, add 9 to 89. So now that means we put our less than sign here that prehypertension is going to be less than 140 since the upper range is 139 and diastolic prehypertension is less than 90 since the upper range is 89. So now we bring our number 140 down as the lower limit of the range of stage 1. Again add 19 for 159 and with diastolic since our upper range of prehypertension is 89, we bring down 90 
and add 9 for the upper range of stage 1 to be 90 to 99. So that means that the systolic stage 1 is less than 160 and the diastolic stage 1 is less than 100. And the corollary to that is stage 2 then must be greater than or equal to 160. And stage 2 diastolic must be greater than or equal to 100. And that's it.